Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I'm back with another one of my Back to Basics um, features. So today I'm going to talk about adhesives. I have lots of different types of adhesives. Obviously it depends on what kind of cards you make to what kind of adhesives you use and things like that. What you tend to stick down. Um, but I'm going to go through some of my favourites and hopefully it will help you out a bit. Um, so first of all I'm going to go through liquid glue. My favourite liquid glue... Uh, by far is the um, Tombow Multi Talent Liquid Glue. In America, it's called Tombow Mono Multi. Um, I get mine from Colt Pens at um, coltpens.co.uk. It's three pound eight pence. Um, you can buy it from Stampin' Up as well, and it's three pound twenty five there. Um, I just really like this glue. Um, it's it's basically PVA glue, um, and what but what I like about this is that it's um, it's called multi tenant because it can be permanent or um, temporary. However, I have to be honest, I don't use it for a temporary adhesive. I use it for permanent adhesive. It's got two ends, um, a large end here, which I don't really use that much, and um, the smaller end. And I use this um, glue a lot for mainly die cuts, so sort of paper to paper cardstock um, kind of bonding. Um, it's really good because you can just get a tiny little amount um, it's very good for sort of word um, die cuts, so like the Sam's stamp die cuts and MFT and stuff like that. Um, I really like it for that. And then next up is glossy accents. I do tend to use this more as a glossy um, kind of finish as opposed to an adhesive. However, it's really good for sequins, um, especially um, like enamel dots that have lost a bit of their stickiness underneath. Um, the only downfall with this is that you need just the tiniest amount. Um, it does take you know a little while to dry. You need the tiniest amount, otherwise you know if it's kind of seeps out under whatever you've stuck down it will have a glossy effect to it so you will be able to see that that is the only downfall for it um you can get like a claudine helmworth there's a matte medium haven't managed to get hold of it yet so i haven't been able to try it but i believe that's the same kind of thing but obviously a matte finish which might be better but this is good for sequins um i say enamel dots um it's quite good for twine um baker's twine if you've um, tied a bow and you want it to lay flat against your card it's quite good for that um, you can get it from the glitter pot here in the UK um, for $1.99 um, for this small size and you can also get it from die to die for £4.75 I think that's the cheapest place um, for the large bottle obviously you can get this I think you can get almost all of these products well majority of them um, in America as well I'm not going to go through um, but I would have thought Simon Sister App has most of them and then next up is um, tape. So first of all, this is the um, Stick It, um, which I know is a UK brand, but um, Stick It from Do Crafts. Um, this is the removable tape runner. I don't like their permanent ones. I have no need for them, but the removable one is really helpful. Um, I tend to um, put it under the panel of card that I'm going to stamp on. Just put a small amount on it and then stick it to my um, craft mat here and then it stops it sliding around while I'm stamping and things like that. Um, I use this as I say on almost every single one of my cards. I didn't use it necessarily as a full adhesive but um, just sort of while I'm making the card and I find that really helpful. And you can get this from the glitter pot. Um, so I'm just having a look here what I wrote down as the price. Um, it's £2.50 and then you can buy the refill separately um, which is quite good and then for a really strong um, tape you can get um, red line tape now so many different companies do red line tape I'm not going to go through um, through them all with you this one happens to be from Woodware and it was £4.45 I think I got this from the glitter pot um, this is this is 12 millimeters. Um, as I say so many different companies do it but basically um, if it's a red line it means that it's really sticky <laughs> um, you can stick really heavy things together I don't use it um, that much I mainly use it more for storage um, I stick like my magnetic sheet down um, and things like that but um, it is helpful to have um, if you're sticking heavier items onto card or if you really really want it to be really tight like if you're making boxes or something like that or envelopes that would be helpful to have when I first started crafting I used um, double sided tape and um, this one is one that I 
um, used. This is the sellotape double sided um, tape. Um, you, it's 33 meters. I mean, and it's I can't remember the price of this. Um, I've had it a long time. And um, you can get it from Tesco's and places like that. Um, it's acid free, um, which I, it doesn't really bother me too much with um, card. Although I do prefer if I have the chance to get acid free stuff. Um, although I don't use photographs, but I do still like it. Um, the, oh, this one was three pound eighty nine, but I don't know where I got it from either. Tesco's don't usually label their stuff, so but I know they sell it in Tesco's anyway. Um, yeah, I really like it. The only downfall is you obviously have to cut it with scissors. Um, your scissors get a bit sticky. Not the end of the world. I have separate um, scissors for tape, but that's a it's a nice um, double sided tape. What I use now, however, is the um, ATG. This is the advanced tape glider from Scotch, um, which is made by 3M. I love this thing. <laughs> um, when I first bought it, I wasn't quite sure of it. It's, it's quite big, you know, it's quite bulky. Um, I love it though. Um, you can obviously get a lot smaller tape gliders than this. This is the one I like. Um, the, um, the actual ATG itself, I got from 3M directly. Um, I think it's 3mdirect.co.uk and it was £12.49 and then you can buy the um, the refills to go in it from 3M Direct as well and they are £7.49 for two acid free refills you can buy um, non acid free which is cheaper um, and also there are tons of other places that sell refills that you can buy in bulk and things like that um, I don't tend to have to refill it too often um, which obviously is really handy but I really love it um, I do have to watch a YouTube video every time I try and refill it because I get into trouble and forget how to do it but I'm sure at some point I will remember I've only had it what like three years or something so you know I'm still a beginner <laughs> but uh, at one point I'll remember how to use it and then um, but I do love the actual ATG next up is um, glue dots Glue dots come in loads of sizes. The ones that I use the most are the um, Diddy and the Mini. Um, generally, I get them from the Glitter Pot. Um, they're both £2.79 each. Um, the Mini ones are just a little bit bigger than the Diddy ones. Um, I like them for sticking down butterflies, if I make die-cut butterflies. Um, and then you can pop like a, a rhinestone or a, an enamel dot or something on the um, over the glue dot if you're sticking vellum if it's vellum I tend to make a lot of vellum butterflies um, I like it for just anything that's round and they stick I personally think they stick really quite well and um, so I like those a lot and then next up is um, sort of dimensional stuff um, I'm going to go through, these are sort of new to me, um, these are the scrapbook adhesive ones, I do like these, um, they are a bit more difficult to get in the UK, um, I know that there is a place that you can buy them from, I think, um, she doesn't actually have a shop but she has a blog and you can buy them from her or something like that, I don't know her name, I apologise, um, I haven't ordered from them, I've bought them from Simon's Stamp, um, these are 3D foam squares, um, just having a look here. They are two dollars ninety three from Summers's Stamp, um, and I do like them. They come in different sizes. They come in black and white and things like that as well. Um, but I quite like them just in that they're quite dense, if that makes sense. So they're foam, but they're quite a dense foam. Um, they're not particularly massively dimensional, which I like. Um, yeah, and I just I just quite like them, so I thought I would mention them. Um, along the same lines is um, Stampin' Up Stampin' Dimensionals, um, I really like these, these are £3.25 a pack I believe, um, I've got it all written down here, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, yeah, £3.25 a pack, um, I do like them, they are hexagonal in shape, um, they're quite small, um, but I, I do like them, um, and they're quite good to these bits of the side as well that you can cut up, and I think they're just quite a handy size if you're going to put on the back of die cuts or... Um, you've cut out a stamped image and you want to put it on that, that's generally probably what I use them for the most. Um, so I like those. And then um, I've run out of these but I've still got the um, the packaging, I've probably got like two left in the pack I think. Um, these are um, sticky fixes from cello tape. Um, they're bigger than, um, I don't know if I've got a full one, oh yeah just about. Um, they're this, they're that big, um, they're not 
particularly massive blood dimensional again I like that um, they're dense but they're not dense <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever they've still got a bit of bounce to them I really like these I use these a lot um, you can get them from Tesco's which is where I buy them from but you can get them obviously from other places supermarkets and things like that um, they are um, they are £1.30 from Tesco's um, and yeah, I really like them and I you, they come in a pack of 56 and I think they come in a bigger pack as well 74 I think I don't know I'm not quite sure or maybe they this is the larger pack and they come in a smaller pack um, anyway um, I do like these a lot and then probably my favorite thing and I use them a lot mainly because they're cheap um, is the stick it um, adhesive transparent squares um, I get them usually from the glitter pot for some reason they're not showing on their website at the moment I don't know if they're stopping selling them or what um, but I really like them they're 99p a pack um, these are the small ones these are um, six yeah six millimeter ones they're really small um, basically they're transparent they're not very high at all but I like that um, the you can cut them quite easily you get tons in this pack I mean tons and then these ones which is probably what I use the most are the 12 millimeter ones I generally use these um, for layers on my cards I don't like them too bulky so um, so I'm adding a panel onto the card base I generally use these um, I just really like them and because they're only 99p a pack I feel like I could use quite a lot of them you know without having to spend too much money so I like them a lot so that is um, sort of some of my favourite adhesives and maybe what I use them for um, I hope this has been helpful to some of you and um, I'm really sorry if a lot of you found it boring <laughs> um, but hopefully it helps some of you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon